In the silent arteries of every modern building, from the tallest skyscrapers to the humblest homes, runs an invisible force, electricity. It breathes life into our machines, lights up our nights, and powers the digital world we depend upon. But behind this omnipresent current lies a crucial element of safety and order, the electrical conduit. Often hidden from sight, these protective channels form the backbone of any well-organized electrical system, ensuring wires are shielded from damage, moisture, and electromagnetic interference. Yet, not all conduits are created equal. This is the world we explore today in what are the different types of electrical conduit. From rigid steel to flexible plastic, each type has its own story, purpose, and domain of mastery, right here on History of Simple Things. Our journey begins with rigid metal conduit, RMC, the toughest and most durable type in the conduit family. Made of galvanized steel or aluminum, RMC is designed to handle heavy mechanical stress and resist corrosion. Its threaded ends create a tight, secure seal, making it ideal for outdoor and industrial settings where protection is critical. Commonly used along exterior walls or embedded in concrete, RMC is favored where fire resistance and impact protection are essential. Though it requires on-site cutting and threading, its strength and reliability make it the go-to choice in demanding environments. Next comes Intermediate Metal Conduit, IMC, a slightly leaner, more efficient variant of RMC. Introduced as a cost-effective alternative, IMC provides similar strength but with a thinner wall and lighter weight. It meets the same rigorous safety standards, offering a balance between toughness and ease of handling. IMC is suitable for both outdoor and indoor applications, particularly in commercial construction where conduit needs to span long distances without adding excessive load to the structure. Its corrosion-resistant coating allows it to brave the elements, while its reduced weight makes it more manageable for workers in the field. IMC, in many ways, reflects the evolution of engineering, doing more with less without compromising safety. Diving deeper into the metal family, we find electrical metallic tubing, EMT, a lightweight option often called thin wall conduit. Unlike its threaded relatives, EMT connects using compression fittings, making it quick to install and cost effective. It's widely used in commercial and institutional buildings, especially indoors where conditions are dry. Though thinner, EMT still offers solid protection against physical damage and electromagnetic interference. Its ability to be bent with special tools adds versatility, making it ideal for clean, efficient layouts in places like schools, hospitals, and office spaces. Yet the world of conduit extends beyond metal. Enter Flexible Metal Conduit, FMC, a spiraled, bendable alternative that thrives where rigidity falters. Known for its accordion-like appearance, FMC can twist and turn through tight spaces, making it ideal for retrofitting, equipment hookups, or areas prone to vibration. It can be pulled through existing structures without the need for precise alignment, a quality that has made it indispensable in renovations and machine shops. However, it's not suitable for wet locations unless specially coated, and its flexibility comes at the cost of reduced mechanical protection compared to RMC or EMT. Still, in environments where movement is frequent or space is limited, FMC is the unsung hero that gets the job done. Closely related to FMC, Liquid Tight Flexible Metal Conduit, LFMC, is built to handle moisture without sacrificing flexibility. Wrapped in a waterproof plastic jacket, LFMC is perfect for outdoor areas, washdown zones, and locations exposed to oil or dust. It offers the bendability of FMC with added protection, making it a go-to in automotive plants, food processing lines, and outdoor HVAC systems. Designed to keep wiring dry and shielded in harsh conditions, LFMC is a smart blend of adaptability and durability, proving that good engineering meets challenges with thoughtful solutions. On the non-metallic side, rigid polyvinyl chloride conduit 
PVC, offers a lightweight, corrosion-resistant alternative to metal. Made from durable plastic, it stands up well to moisture, chemicals, and sunlight, making it ideal for underground use or corrosive environments. Its smooth interior eases wire pulling, and solvent-welded joints ensure a watertight seal. While PVC doesn't conduct electricity, adding insulation value, it lacks the fire resistance and toughness of metal conduits, limiting its use in high heat or impact-prone areas. Still, for outdoor and below-ground installations, PVC remains a smart, cost-effective solution. Then we meet electrical non-metallic tubing, ENT, often called Smurf tube, for its bright blue color. Made of flexible, corrugated plastic like PVC or flame-retardant polypropylene, ENT is extremely lightweight and easy to install, often requiring no special tools. It's commonly used in residential settings, threading through walls, ceilings, and slabs with ease. Its flexibility is ideal for navigating complex framing. Though not built for high-stress environments, ENT is valued for its speed, simplicity, and suitability in low-risk indoor applications. In some cases, surface-mounted raceway systems, technically not conduits in the traditional sense, are used for wiring that needs to remain both visible and accessible. Typically made of plastic or metal, these channels allow cables to run along walls or ceilings without being concealed inside them. While they don't provide the heavy-duty protection of RMC or EMT, raceways excel in environments like schools, laboratories, and commercial offices, where wiring configurations change frequently. They offer a different kind of utility, favoring flexibility, accessibility, and easy upgrades over maximum physical defense. Each type of electrical conduit plays a vital role in the safety and structure of modern wiring systems. From the rigid strength of galvanized steel to the flexibility of plastic tubing, these conduits are designed to meet the specific challenges of their environments. Their differences reflect the complexity of the spaces we build. From underground trenches to open ceilings, from dry offices to wet industrial zones, selecting the right conduit is not only about meeting code, it's about planning for durability, accessibility, and long-term reliability. Inside these seemingly simple tubes runs the hidden network that powers our world, a quiet tribute to thoughtful engineering. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.